Hello self-employed blog, this is self-employed blog for January part two, mainly because last week I hadn't edited this. Why does that always be when I'm doing a video? I hadn't edited this part. So this is self-employed part two. It's not particularly exciting, but it does show the mundaneness of running a business and all the shit that goes off in the background. And I'm focusing more in this blog now on the business side, which I always was doing, and the administration and all the boring shit. So don't come here looking for work, there won't be much, but this is where all the fucking back end goes down. So enjoy January part two and hopefully back next week, I'll be back with a decent video that's not a fucking load of shit. Yo, self-employed blog, 10th of January. Where are we at? We have just done the first meter in store yesterday. There's no meters on the floor because they're either there waiting or there's, there's two boxes there, the next job, Stoke and somewhere near hot near harlow they're there waiting so that's my next week and the week after this job's done just ordered another 15 meters to do that one there they're waiting on bits that's all going the flow's good now the flow's really good on these now we've done the install so all the tools went right everything was correct i weren't short of anything and then got the tools back to my house and thinned them out and then I've got a little box of like admin kit here for each job. Anyway, that's a bit boring. We've been going on that for ages. Uh, water sports for today, French Air. We're doing a little bit of work for them. The company, I'm not going to name them, but they're obviously, it's not a secret. We're going to do a bit of work for them, helping them out with something for this box. So they've been in, uh, a guy I know does all my designs, metal work, drafting called Ron. So Ron's been in to give the drafting side of it. Elias with the metal worker. French has been in to give us what he wants, tell us what he needs. And I've been in to be like the installer type middleman guru. Frenchie brought in some sausage rolls this morning and because of him, I've got a bit more time the afternoon, so I'm going to fucking eat those. So lovely. So yeah, so we've got the meat his job's going off. That's rolling now. That's way rolling. I think when you change a meter over, you submit information. It says, here's the last read on the meter. Here's the new read on the meter. To cut a long story short, it's quite a lot of effort and photos and evidence. And so that's gone in. When that comes back, one site will be completely done. All the processors for it will be completely done and when that that, that meter handover later comes back i'll start rolling the other ones out just rapid as fast as i can to get them done so that's gone so all the processes are in just wait for one to come back and we're off and then now you've got this little prototyping job also off instagram i've been getting quite a few inquiries about metering and other services provide the niche little service provide so that's really working out well being on instagram and i said this to one or it's because a couple of people have seen it yeah if you've got a electrical engineer at somewhere you probably can't get to them. You won't be able to phone them, you won't be able to call them, you won't be able to email them, you won't be able to take reps and shit like that. If you see on Instagram, you're fucking off. So it's a bit of a real weird advertising platform and I'm going to do a course on it and you can get, not really, that's fucking what dickheads do. But yeah, we'll see how we get on. But not only has this job now got going, but there's another little job bubbling away in the background for a prototype, which I can show. So I can show the process of that one, whether or not I decide to, because then you know what I know, is a different matter. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll talk about that sometime later. But 10th, let's keep rolling. Yo, self-employed blog, it's the 13th now. What is it going off? Well, I'm at Stoke, I'm at Stoke tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Stoke. I'm fitting some meets at Stoke, so they're ready down there. They're ready to go. They've been tested. All the gubbins have been done. Paperworks from the bag. Yada, yada, yada. I've actually been and done all the admin for the, for the jobs, and I've ordered stuff for jobs I'm not doing for a few weeks. So I'm way ahead on that job. Got a couple of things doing here. This is a dump. This is meant to be a training room. Meant to be for tra It's obviously admin for jobs, but it's meant to be some training going off in here at some point with all my motors core stuff that I've got ready up there in those car units. And then over here is where the podcast set was. There's the podcast set. Look, look it's the last time you see it because... Yeah, it's quite clever what you can do with the camera lens because it actually just looks like a big pile of shit. But that's got to go. That shelving's got to go because it's in the way. I need that space back or something else. I've got some teaching to do and it's remote. And remote teaching on, on Teams is shite. It's fucking shit, yeah? It's, most of it, most of what I see delivered is shit. And that is all down to the fact that people just want to use the camera and the microphone on the computer. And uh, if you want to try and deliver anything that's a little bit interesting, you can't do that so... And now I need to turn this part of the studio back into a studio so that I can try and deliver some training remotely that is interesting by using some various camera angles. I'll try and take you through it uh, here because it's just a... It's, 
who's going to use it i don't know but i'll go for it but yeah so that shelf's got to come down all that stuff's got to get moved uh i think i have to put some color units back there a little whiteboard back there and make this to a little studio area where i can, where I can use a whiteboard uh an above desk camera and all sorts so but the crack is it's good money and if i can make it interesting if everyone delivers that training and it's it is what it is they'd get the smashed across great right will they get good feedback they might say as a nice guy but they'll say just online training shit if i can make it like a live youtube video people might go fucking hell you know for training that was really good for online training that was really good and that's what i want, I want people to go you know for online training i really enjoyed that that is the aim and to do that, I'm going to have to do a bit of jiggly poker with the equipment I've already got. So that's, like I said, the set's got to go jiggle around this stuff, the cameras and that, and try and make it, like, actually interesting. Don't know if it's possible, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that shelf down, replace it with a Kallax, and that Kallax, and I'm going to put the shelves on there for all the teaching stuff, probably a bit better for them. But, yeah, um, I'm just going to have a go. Like I say, maybe people go, fucking that's still shit, but maybe people go, fucking that online training was really good. And they'll want to do it again. And it'll make them more inclined to want to do online training again. And then get me to do it again. So I'll throw some time at it. I've got all the stuff I need. Everything, in here is, is, everything I need is in here. I've just got to throw the time at it. So I'm going to throw the time at it this morning for two hours to try and get it. I don't know. I'm going to get the set stuff done. And then I'm going to work on the technical stuff later. But my plan is to have a camera that points at whatever's here. Um, which will be just a background for me to talk from. That's electrical. But not the podcast set because that's tainted with podcast. Then I have a camera that points over to the or the whiteboard there or a whiteboard. Then I'm gonna have an over desk camera so I could do something like this. So I could come above and go, right, this is an overload. Da, 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 da. So hopefully it can be as interactive as it can be, and I can just shoot from set to whiteboard to a hands-on demonstration. And other than that, what more would you deliver in a classroom? Apart from you actually be there. So yeah, I know this will be easy, but I like a challenge, and it's a good challenge because Every bit of train I've had like that is gash. And I thought, well, try and make it look decent. So here we go. Say bye-bye today. Say bye-bye to the set. That's what it looks like. <laughs> if you're on camera, it looks better. But in fact, it's just a shitty shelf with some black cloth on it. But it's got to go because I need to space something out. So yeah. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. And that is it. At its heart, it was just a load of bean tins uh, on MDF. So there you go. Gone. There you go, it's all gone. There you go, that's what's there now. So if anyone sees me online or anything, if I do any podcast wrote, that's what'll be in the background. Generic electronic set. Probably with a bit of light on that as well. Or maybe the brick set, the classic brick set, which I might have to make a bit wider now to do it. All the podcasting stuff, the all, it's, it's video comedy stuff now, it's gonna stay there. But I'm gonna tidy it all up because I need to use that for some teaching. So that needs to be next job, when I'm in here on Thursday after I've done this week's round of meeting, is to Make that work with Microsoft Teams. Just don't know how I'm going to do that. But anyway, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, all the teaching stuff's there. So I'm quickly access it. There's also a job in it and a dumping ground stuff. But we'll fucking sort that shit out. But yeah, this space has seen another change. Hello, self-employed bog. It's the 17th of January. I'm in the... Fucking, I mean, that's the office. That's the office now. This is the multitasking office bit. And I'm just trying to get these computers working so I can do this online stuff, which I'm going to trial an online thing on YouTube, like do something electrical. Uh, I need to use that set, that whiteboard, and that. And like I said, I think I've alluded to this already, but I'm just mapping up to this date is I've had to spend quite a bit of money to get this going for no reward. Although I'm doing one course, so the one course I'm doing will pay for the fucking... USB extension cables and things I've had to buy to see if we can get it working. But yeah, just just with reference stuff about investing, like sometimes you've got to put the balls in the shopping ball, don't you? When I moved into this office, I didn't ever be able to fucking pay for it after one month. But uh, we're trying and we're trying some new stuff. So yeah, I'm just in a mess of cables at the minute. And I'm now probably going to go and re edit this blog or edit up to today, see where I'm at and see if I'm just repeating myself or talking shit. But anyway, it's only halfway through the month. Stuff, stuff going off this month. It seems rapid. The meters job's all in here as well. Look, taking up space. I've got a real meter stuff today. It's just all admin. I get, but I'm an admin. I'm just an admin bitch. That's what I do. Hey, up, so I've blog. Just a bit of a boring one. Just doing some off stuff. Look, I've got me. That flyer's gone away to be remade because it's too deep. Stop me doing work. 
I know it's very boring, but there's a new one. Look, you can see I've made it thinner and chopped a bit out, and it's so much better now because I get so much more work done. It's fucking unreal than it just being out here and not being able to fit a laptop on. God, this is dry as fuck boring. If I do a clean out the office day, clean office, clean mine. I've also got a little project over here. Look, I've got... I've been rebuying every mobile phone I ever owned and displaying them in my office because I'm boring. Oh, just when you think that this channel couldn't get any more boring, you start talking about mobile phones. <laughs> oh my God, what an absolute Good thing is, when people come and see stuff like that, um, they'll talk about it. So like, don't let me get this way. I'll always in my office, I have oddities, like the old um, electricity board health and safety thing, the phones, because people will come into the office and they'll start talking about stuff that's in the office and they spend more time talking about stuff that's in the office than they do about work. And then they fuck up and go, oh yeah, we'll have that order. Bit of a scam. There's all the teaching stuff. But yeah, got it all tied up today. And I've heavily worked on this studio setup that's here. I'm almost there. I must have spent about 200 quid on leads, cables, adapters and things I didn't have. Uh, I've spent days and days trying to find certain plugs and stuff I've had. I pretty much had it all. It's all coming together nicely. The only one thing I've got to do is I've realised after trying to fucking around with lights for ages, see that reflection? That's because this whiteboard's reflective. It's also metal that makes horrible noise. Whereas that whiteboard isn't reflective and doesn't have a problem. So I've now got to go and buy a whiteboard. Do you know how hard it is to actually buy a whiteboard? Like go in and fucking physically buy one. Because people don't want to do that. You've got to buy online. So I need to measure it and get one offline. But yeah, I'm going to leave the office now. It's Friday night. Everything's nice and tidy. And then we're going to fuck off. I've just seen these mirrors lying down in B&Q and I instantly went for that little tiny pocket on my jeans. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hello, self-employed bog. Don't quite know where I am this month, so I'm logging it anyway. It is the, I don't fucking know, it's the first Monday back, so I'll put it here. There you go, it's that day. Um, this is the situation in the office at the minute. It's happened again. Another 10 going out. So this is another 10 for a job. There's two in a box there, look. They're this week's fit. I've got to go down to do some work down in London to remove some metres, because the new ones won't fit unless the old ones are removed. And I've got to make some kits up for them. These are the 10 for next week. I've got to order some more. So I'm just not going to go on about it. Like, it's the same old shit. Order meters, make meters, commission meters, make meters into kits, go out and fit them, repeat process to all 46 are done. So that's that. The whiteboard is too shiny for video. So there's a new whiteboard in order. So I could do that. The camera setup's there. There's a tripod with a webcam on. There's like a fucking mixing studio there with a fucking look at clump of cables that's coming down after that. And all the sets done, so hopefully tomorrow, the whiteboard's coming tomorrow, I'll be able to put that up. I'll be able to do some video tests to see how that camera shows on the whiteboard. And I'll be able to test all my scenes and stuff, so I'll be able to go from that set to that set and the PC uh, on lives and teaching. So that's part of teaching, part of YouTube Live. So that's where I'm at. Uh, I won't bother putting more of the stuff in this blog because this is the same thing. So in a week's time, on like the late 20s of the month, I could be just doing the same thing for the next job. But I think you've all seen the fact there's a lot of organisation goes into it now. Blah bloody fucking blah. And unless anything interesting happens, this will cease this repetitive bullshit about these meters because uh, if you want to see more of it, just watch it again. So yeah, so hopefully tomorrow we'll talk about this setup, we'll play with that and uh, yeah, see how we get on. Might even do a little YouTube live tomorrow to practice that equipment on the go. That would be a good idea. Yo, self-employed blog, it's Tuesday, 21, 21 of January. It's only Tuesday, and I just fucking, I've got my message in London today, because she works in London, because she's a middle-class fucking high-power business bitch, and uh, I'm going to tell the kids stuff. Then tomorrow, I'm down at Harlow, then Thursday, I'm in London, Friday, I've got in the office, but then next week, I'm teaching remote teaching on Monday and I've got an, an install going off on Tuesday I haven't commissioned meetings yet they're all in my office ready to rock and roll but I haven't fucking commissioned them yet so uh, and it's Tuesday I'm, I'm fitting them start fitting them next Tuesday and I'm like fucking I'm a bit tired of time because Monday I'm doing this online teaching and uh, I've got all the studio shit set up for him I need to do a, like a, a check on Teams on Friday and I'm just like fucking how's that going to swallow up my day I, like, I, and what's really annoying is I suppose it's good organisation but it's fucking got me on now it's, I'm a fucking week ahead. 
I'm like planning. A, I'm planning like well weeks ahead because I've ordered all the stuff, but fucking I'm on Tuesday. I'm thinking fucking I'm running out of time for the Tuesday following. I don't know if being organised is a fucking curse because sometimes like that means I've got the whole week to worry about that now. Excellent. been in this office one year today because they've sent me a renewal for the lease right i'm just in the process of jigger round number seven i need to set a camera up between that set that whiteboard and that little desk area there where i've got like a, a, a camera that points at the desk so you can do that look at paper stuff which is fine but then i'll need to move around the microphone and me headphones so i can help people saying between that set and that set I could just need a 3.5 millimeter headphone extension cable. No, but look what I, I've had to purge the office of all the cables. That's not even half of them. Like, why do I own so many fucking cables? Does everyone have a cable collection like this or is it just me? Because I'm now sorted through the whole lot and I've still had to order a fucking 3.5 mm extension cable so I can walk from there to there and still have my headphones in. I'll have to turn the microphone around, but that is what it is. But fuck me, that's a lot of cable, isn't it? Oh, for weighing. Hello, Sam Floorbog. It's Friday the 24th, yeah? Just, and this is the same old, same old meeting stuff and da 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 But I thought I'd put this in, because look, let me show you this. I've got to do a, on Monday, I'm doing some re remote training in here. I've got a new whiteboard and, and a camera set up and all that. You've seen that, it's really poor, but that's not even so weird, because I'm still doing these meters. I've just got another 10 ready for a job. The barber door's got to pack those up in boxes. I've got another site that's worth ready in those boxes there, and I've got another 10 coming. And I, I bet some people watch to go, what's that that big office for? For himself, and I'd just like to say at this point, yeah, with, that, with the work I'm doing, without this office, there wouldn't be any work. Literally, I could not cope. I made these, I made some of these in a garage and stuff. I, this space is a garage size, and the office is another garage size, yeah? I couldn't cope without this. I couldn't do what I'm doing without this space. This is literally it. I'm Friday night. I really run like a twat today, because I need to get these meters bagged up, ready for the job they're going to. Get the other meters bagged up and check I've got all the bits. Then get the next meters bagged up. There's three on the go at the minute. And then I've got to get all these cameras set up and do like a sound and fucking video check with my wife check it'll work for Monday morning. But yeah, this office that well, I rented, I didn't need all this space. Now, uh, I'm absolutely making the money out of it is the most important thing. And that brings January part two to an end. Just to mop it up, yeah? Did the teaching go? Well, yes, it did. There's the setup look. I've got an overhead camera, the microphone, uh, a webcam that shows me on the computer and all the stuff for moving all the PowerPoints around and that. I then use this set, which worked quite well because I just rolled on my chair from there to there to demonstrate things in my hands. I then flip round and I used the new whiteboard, which is still reflective. That's something I've got to work on. And I had another camera as well. But yeah, I basically could do it this view, the whiteboard view, or the looking at me while I'm on the computer view with that in the background, basically like that. So yeah, it went quite well. I thought it made it as interesting as I could make it. Um, I, I could get to all my props. Well. So if I wanted to show something like safe isolation, I just literally dumped over here. It's over there. Grabbed an isolator and showed safe isolation knocking off there. So I thought I made quite a good job of that. I made my money back plus 50 quid by the time I bought all these leads. Look, look at this fucking big donkey dick of leads hanging down here. So yeah, that was January. A lot of boring had been going off. A lot of the same shit. I'm trying to show now. This is the fucking grind. I mean, look at it now. This is the grind. This is what you'll see in February. There's a grind going off in here now. I've got a meeting today in here. There's still meetings kicking off. There's another job going off there. It's going to be in the February blog. There's stuff I've been doing there which I've on. So, yeah, it's all going off. So, yeah, um, if it's fucking boring, welcome to the fucking real world.